In this FlexSim Basics video, we are going to explain what discrete event simulation really is and why it's central to the way FlexSim handles simulation models. Discrete event simulations are made up of a series of chronological events that cause state changes in the system. Events fire at various times throughout the model. Some examples of events include when an item is created, the arrival of an item at some point in the system, and the process time of a machine. And these are just a select few of many possible events. These events trigger a change in state, such as idle, processing, empty, traveling, and many, many others. These events happen in chronological order from the time the simulation clock starts, in a certain order of operation, so a given model will always behave in exactly the same way if there is no randomness used. Let's take a look at the events using an important tool in FlexSim. Go to Debug in the menu bar and click Event List. This tool will open at the bottom of the center pane. Drag out a source, a queue, a processor, and a sync, and connect them in order. Set the model run speed to zero. When we click Run, events will be generated, but the simulation will be effectively paused. We'll use the Step button instead to move to the next event in the simulation run. Double-click on the source and change its arrival style to Arrival Schedule. You'll notice that the default option for Arrival 1 is one flow item at time 0. This is perfect to demonstrate how events work in FlexSim. Click OK to close the Properties window. Reset the model. If you look at the event list viewer, you'll notice an event has been created at time zero. This is the arrival of the flow item. Run the model now, and nothing has changed. The model is running, but since the run speed is zero, the first event has not yet happened. Click the Step button to move to the next event. The flow item is now sitting in the processor, with the next event being end setup. Since nothing has actually happened, and moving a flow item directly between objects takes no time, this model is still at time zero. If the queue was not empty, or an operator was used to carry the flow item, more events would show up between these two. Step forward again. The next event is process finish. The time of the next event is 10, because that is the default process time for the processor. If you step forward again, you'll see two events listed. The open inputs event is for the processor. Because it has a maximum capacity of one, and one flow item just left, it can now open its inputs for the next item. Simultaneously, a destroy part event has been created on the sink, which will destroy the flow item. Step forward. Notice that the open inputs event has now passed, leaving only the destroy part event. This is important. With discrete event simulation, only one event is processed at a time, even if multiple events occur at the same time in a simulation. Step forward again, and you'll notice that there are no more events. If you turn the run speed up, time will not advance at all. This is because discrete event simulation is driven by events. Since only one flow item was ever going to enter this model, once it is left, there is nothing left to do. The event list has given us great information, but it doesn't show every event that happens in a simulation. To see a complete list, we will use the event log, which can also be found in the debug menu. Open the event log, check the enable logging option, set the run speed back to zero, and reset the model. The event log is now populated with the on reset events for each object, even though they have no script to be executed. Run the model and step it forward. Quite a few events were processed, and you can see that every relevant trigger, the ones based on order of execution, has been executed, even though there was no code on any of them. This list will give you a very helpful idea of what order events and triggers occur in and is an excellent way to debug unexpected behavior. Step the model forward until no more events are logged. This list of events shows one flow item's complete journey through our system. Thank you for watching. For more information on FlexSim products or to view more tips and tricks for successful modeling, please visit www.flexsim.com.